All right, y'all, so I'm finna make this pink sauce. This pink sauce has been viral, y'all. I saw Trinity J do this first. Um, this is the first person I saw, so I just said, why not try to make it and mimic it? Of course, we don't know the real recipe, so y'all don't, so don't be so judgmental. I'm just going off of what was the base for the recipe, which is like four ingredients, and then, yeah, so right here, you see me with garlic, Himalayan salt, honey, uh, Lemon juice, that's organic, pure lemon juice. I got safflower oil. I had to get safflower oil because there was no sunflower oil nowhere, no matter where I looked. But I looked it up and they're pretty much interchangeable. So boom, that's what I'm using. And of course I got the dragon fruit, which is the main base for this sauce. So yeah, y'all, um, the way I did it is I just started off with the dragon fruit, put it in the blender. Like so, I started off with one bag. It's about 12 ounces. I started off with a handful of garlic. That is my size hand, so a lot of garlic. It's peeled garlic, and then I put some cayenne pepper in there and some chili powder because it just said red chili, so I didn't know if it was chili pepper or cayenne. And um, then I used some honey. Uh, this is uh, raw honey. I used a good bit of it, um, which y'all gonna see. Uh, I did a lot of tweaking. This is how I started off. Tried to put pretty much the thick ingredients first, then I added the vinegar. Didn't go so heavy with it at first. And then the lemon juice is two acids. So um, I'd rather use more lemon juice starting off than vinegar because the vinegar is uh, more potent and you can taste it more. So I just closed my blend up, started off on low, about a one setting, um, um, cause I do have it on the manual setting. Then I just kind of gradually increased it um, just to get everything going. And wanted to really make sure I got that garlic um, blended up real good and smooth yeah so that's the initial color of it um i didn't add the sunflower or a safflower oil yet um because i wanted to get that blended up and then just kind of add it in so to like kind of emulsify and make it thicker so you hear me see me here um starting off low again and uh popping the top open just gonna uh add that safflower oil in and then i'm adding the salt pretty much last so that i could get like so i don't add too much pretty much i don't want to make it too salty because yeah so you can pretty much see here the color starting to change when I'm adding in the safflower oil. It's making it a little lighter. Um, I have the mayo. A lot of people don't know whether she used mayo or not. I don't know either. It just looks like there's a cream base in most of her sauce. So I just went with mayonnaise. You could have used sour cream or anything else. We don't know the recipe. So yeah, yeah, there we go. We just doing this how we do it. So um, yeah, so you see here, um, just cranking that blender up. Once I got all the safflower oil in there that I want to put in there and um getting it getting it right you know what i'm saying you see that turning that uh, a brighter pink it really looks like a smoothie uh, it, it looks like something different so yeah I, I, I tasted it and then i just added different things and tweaked it how i wanted and then i finally added the salt um in there and then what i'm going to do again before i uh, add the mayo is i'm just going to blend it up again and uh give it a taste and see what it tastes like and then um yeah then continue tweaking from there so um i did taste it again um it had enough salt from what i tasted um and then i just uh well no maybe it didn't have enough salt <laughs> i forgot i added a little bit more um yeah trust me y'all it looks like a lot of salt but that volume is pretty high on there and then i'm gonna add more ingredients than you think i already know i am so then i added uh some the mayonnaise finally started blending it up and from there, it was just kind of trial and error, or me tasting, trying to get somewhat a cohesive taste um, balance. I was I don't know what it should taste like, but this is what I came up with in the end. And um, that is the final look of the sauce. All right, from here, we're going to go into the mukbang and we're going to taste this thing. What's good, crew members? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, AJ and your girl. Danny. And we back with another lit, lit, lit video for y'all. So today, baby, tell them what we doing, hell and what we eat. So y'all, today we are trying the viral pink sauce that everybody has seen on TikTok. AJ has concocted us some in this bowl and in this bottle over here. And then, so we're gonna try it with burgers from Wendy's. 
Chick-fil-A sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Of course, we have macaroni and cheese back here and then fries from Wendy's also. And then we mm -hmm. have chicken legs in the front from Popeye's. Yeah, y'all, so at the beginning, I'm gonna show y'all how I made this sauce. Uh, yeah, boy, I didn't have no instructions. So I wanna say that at first, I got this from, I first seen make this sauce was Trinity J. She made me really wanna make it, um, and then from there, suggested was a whole bunch of other people who tried it by making it instead of buying it, because first of all, it's not on sale right now. I actually, in spite of everything that happened, was gonna purchase it, because I figured by now, she got a recipe right. They dogging her on TikToks in the comments, it's just nasty, hateful. Whatever, I just, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, lack of knowledge. I wouldn't have bought it to begin with, but I wanted to try it for real. So, um, yeah, with all that being said, shout out to uh, Chef P. P, is it P? She looked like uh, Dorinda Carpo and Lala. <laughs> Not <laughs> a bitch. <laughs> but uh, shout out to her. So we just made this best I can. I just made it based off of different other people's variations of whatever and what have you, all of that. So, um, yeah, um, uh, it's the first time I'm a gentleman. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you notify every time the cannon drops in the heat. Oh, yeah. And then, also, guys, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Like that thing. Like that thing. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pray so that we can get into this pants. All right, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless us for the Lord. Let it be nourished our bodies, Lord. Bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in your son, Jesus, in name. Amen. Amen. Y'all, I apologize for the random setup today. All right, y'all, so we got everything. Well, almost everything. Everything. everything I saw her eat with the pink sauce because, you know, most people try on chicken tenders right. or something. So um, this is Danielle's first. Uh, I tasted already a little bit. Hey! I made it. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Talking about hey. 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 <laughs> so this a French fry, a French fry. I'm scared. I already done tasted it. No, I'm already scared. It's reminding me of something. What I don't know. Me neither. Mm -hmm. Is it ranch? <laughs> it might be ranchy. It's giving ranch. Mm -hmm. Anyway, y'all, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> Same thing in the bottom with this little Popeye. This is chicken leg from Popeye's. Mm -hmm. So, mm. that's how she be. <laughs> okay, with the chicken, y'all. I'm nervous. I'm with the chicken. It's really weird. Mm -hmm. Because earlier when I made it, yeah, I'm sorry, my eyes they were mm -hmm. I'm not used to set up. Mm -mm. But when I made it, I was like, I don't know if this is gonna taste. I don't know what this tastes. Cause I was just dabbing. I wasn't trying to taste it. Taste it. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't need the. To be honest. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. Like, I might I go, like it. I might go in the refrigerator for this. And the color cute. He yeah. ain't gonna agree with that part, but it's fine. <laughs> mm. Okay, baby, you run it. Try mm -mm. to run on me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to do it 
everything I saw her do. Take a little bit of macaroni. Now, wait a minute. She said, it ain't good on pasta too. I reason, I'll tell you why I settled on really making this because I wasn't really just trying to be trendy because mm -hmm. everybody else is making it. But what I did want to do is just get a consensus of whenever hers is actually ready with the manufacturer again mm -hmm. and um, see how close I was or how far off. Mm -hmm. Do it with this burger. Uh-uh. I'm scared. I ain't mad at it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at it, Kippy. I really ain't. Mm. It's kind of crazy, bro. <laughs> Let me see. Yellow. Wow. This is so strange looking. I think mm -hmm. that's part of the problem. <laughs> Your mind is like, what are you doing with this pink stuff on macaroni, bro? Mm. Mm. I like it. It's very, but it doesn't have like, yeah, every time that TV change, I always thinking the camera cut. Me up. too. I picked the wrong background. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at it at all. Mm -mm. Okay, Chef P. Let me see with this back around me. I'm scared. Oh. I don't continue eating it on the macaroni. But oh, wait a minute. I picked up a little bit. Let me that. see that little bottle. And that's probably because I don't do that with regular okay. macaroni. Like, I don't. Uh, ah! <laughs> Add uh, the condiments on it. Thank you. Like, Let me see. I do like a little hot sauce in my microwave from time to time, but mm -hmm. nothing else. Some folk macaroni be peppery. I don't oh, like that. Pepper. Yo, uh, comment if you like black pepper in your macaroni. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's reminding me with this of something I used to get back home. It was like a deli. It was called, what was it called? Sunflower or something. Wildflower was what this deli was called. And they had a macaroni salad. And it never like came the way I wanted it, but mm -hmm. I always would throw ranch in it. And it's like, <laughs> this is what it's tasting like. Mm -hmm. I'm just going with it, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with it. Now, my honest opinion, I think this is good. Mm -hmm. Now, whether it's good because I sat there and taste and blend and taste and blend, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if I just made it to where my my taste was would like it. Mm But I would imagine that it tastes good. She's an actual chef, I believe. Mm -hmm. Like for real. She's a um, Harvey chef. I would think so. I imagine it's got a good place for a pie. Mm -hmm. She just didn't go, you know, the right route mm. of doing things. It's really sad how people on the internet are. Right. Because, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, whenever I heard about, you know, how people packages was arriving and the way this was inconsistent on labels and shit, I mean, I just thinking to myself, I wouldn't buy, but the only thing, the problem was, but I know how people are. Right. We are in a time of entrepreneurship right now. Mm-hmm. Like, heavy entrepreneurship. And um, people are, uh, a lot of people don't do their research. Mm -mm. Whenever they get ready to start a business, sometimes they just do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, 
very possible for me to be ignorant that, you know, you can't just bottle some stuff and just send it to people. Right. Right? You have to go by the food laws in your state. You have to be licensed to sell food, you know what I'm saying? People do it all the time. Don't tell me you can't do it. Or let me not say you can't do it. So people do it all the time. Right. I know people who have six or who have a business going right this moment doing things the wrong way. But if anything, what you wanna do is at least do it the right way to cover your ass. Mm -hmm. So that could you know, nobody can say that you didn't do things the right way and you got them sick or something like that. <clears throat> like, just do it the right way. And God forbid something happened, somebody do get sick, and they blame it on you. Like I said, you, you ask out, you, you know what I'm saying, if you go to court or something like that, you could very much, you could very well lose the chance of having a uh, licensed food business. Mm-hmm. Because you don't know, you might get penalized by your state or whatever, whoever the powers that be, because you know what I'm saying, you were doing stuff the wrong way. It's expensive, but hey. It's worth it if you ain't gonna uh, and then, you know what end saying? up this, in a bad situation. This wouldn't have happened. You know, for her. Mm -hmm. Knowledge would have just kept, you know what I'm saying, her. If she would have did things right, gone by her state, you know what I'm saying? Even if she didn't know, she didn't know. But if you, but uh, you know, if she had known and she did everything right or whatever, nobody could say that, you know, that she was selling things that might harm somebody because it's not shelf stable and everything. That's all no. things she would have known. Right. Because they make sure that you know. Mm -hmm. That's why education is there. That's why the, um, Oh, that's available mm -hmm. when they make you do it so that you know what you're doing. You're not selling something to somebody without the right preservatives in it and things like that. Right. Them bottles are so I remember when I first saw it, it was like this guy, I, I guess, like, terrible. Honey, Chick fil A, I'm sick of you. You're done. <laughs> I done gave you my money for years. I'm tired of it. <laughs> I just took it off. Cause I said, nope, I'm not doing it. It's wet. But um, I remember the first video I saw, it was just this guy. He was over here talking about, if your bottle looked like this, da, 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 da. I didn't even know what it was, but it popped up on my TikTok. I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> And I think people were still trying it swole, which is another mm -mm. conversation. But something be done turned on me. Let me tell you something. That can go. <laughs> that can go. The fact of the matter is, food poisoning can go to many different ways for me to be it. I can just have an upset stomach, diarrhea, or you can end up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to deal with none of it. Yeah, I mean, that has to be a mistake because. Hell no. Nah. Okay. None. And I feel like sometimes it's a fine line between the two. Like. <laughs> Either you one or the other. There ain't no in between. And I'm not trying to find out. Mm -mm. I'm good on that. So have you seen a viral picture of Soulja Boy T going around in it? <laughs> not you laughing. Um. So apparently, homeboy went and got his teeth done. I didn't even know they was bad unless I just wasn't even looking at his mouth. Probably was not. But anyway. This doctor posted his before and after teeth. Somebody must have figured out this was Soldier Boy's teeth because people ain't. Ain't shit. He and had so, to ask him. Ain't no way. That's patient confidentiality, honey. That's what they look like to me. Oh! <laughs> You've seen the teeth. That's what, when he be talking, I look in people's mouth. <laughs> I know my teeth ain't the greatest myself, but I look in people's mouth. It's like they moisturize his lip. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I get a little crack crack out of them. But yeah. That's what that look like to me. I'm talking about, so that's why she kissing him through the phone. Ah. But, <laughs> don't you laugh. But I was like, ooh, T. And then here talking about he upset. But, I mean, he had to have known, right? Uh, Maybe not. I he said patient confidentiality. To put it up there. I would think, like, when these doctors be posting, 
people teeth like they ask them first. I they, would say. Oh, they got their name on something. They yeah. have to. Because he probably don't matter, have. especially when you're dealing with celebrities. No matter if you're talking about Soldier Boy. He might think, not think of himself to sue you, but he got a manager mm -hmm. that's gonna say, "Oh, that's a lawsuit," because <laughs> he was still under somebody's care. So, right, it was patient confidentiality. He had to release that in some way or form. Mm -hmm. If he don't, if he didn't, I'm like, "Did y'all find his teeth?" I'm like, "That's his teeth. I know that's his teeth." <laughs> Man, that's what his teeth look like to me. Well, shit. Now, I ain't never look, really looked in his mouth, so I didn't. Now, know. I didn't see that. I don't say, I'm not going to sit here and say I knew full detail. That's how they was looking. But, I knew they was a little brown. <laughs> I knew they was definitely um, shades of brown, not yellow. Not shades of brown. Not yellow. <laughs> they was browning. I could tell that. Also, did I dream this or did you say that Neo got two women? Yeah, he, he um, with the, they call themselves the sister wives. That is not a life for me. <laughs> Don't you even think about it. I'm That's not a, willing to share. That was a I'm news not. article. Allegedly, let me say that because I got a new, I got a YouTube platform. These niggas right. trying to sue folks. Okay. Allegedly, Neo. I mean, but Neo got two women. Right. Well, go ahead, Neo, honey. Well, you know Neo got two women. Little freak problem. Well, Neo got two women. 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 Well, Neo got two I need more of something zesty. The sweetness is... What is weird? And you probably gonna find this weird coming from me. Um, might need a little bone vinegar. I don't know. I do. I think... Which might be... Like I said, he's probably like, hmm, her and vinegar. I think it might need a little something to cook it. <laughs> yeah, it needs some zest. Like yeah. some... What? I don't know. It needs something like some... Something Excuse that's me. just gonna really wake it up because mm -hmm. it needs something sharp, like uh, um, but it is good, yeah. But I like it, I think I would definitely. And going back, I might the honey's not coming through strong for no, me, I but don't taste it at there's all. a sweetness that's just uh, too much for me for this type of food. Well, probably not too much for me because you know what I indulge in, I can probably. Roll me in it. <laughs> Roll me up in it. Rub me down. Huh? Might be a little fried. Burger King fries, you can eat cold. McDonald's, baby. You got a two minute warning. <laughs> I said, give me some fries with no salt. So. I ain't know why he said no salt, but now I do. Yep. But McDonald's, two minute warning. You better eat them. Now when they fresh, they really good, mm -hmm. but they don't last long. And to be honest, them chip fil <coughs> fries I had the other night, like I said, I'm about, I never thought I'd say this. I'm about done with Chick-fil-A. I'm this close. <laughs> yeah, we keep having Chick-fil-A. It's not hitting so like it used to. Now, I really love a good like Chick-fil-A when it's, but... Lately, it's just been. It ain't been hit. It ain't getting. I get them titties. Two, two. <laughs> Four thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't getting what it was supposed to gain. Baby. It don't taste like 2012. Give me it ain't. Okay. Give me something. That's what it's giving me McDonald's. <laughs> so, y'all, whoever, uh, if you comment down below with a pink heart, I'll send you this. AJ! <laughs> No ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. I will make sure that bottle never leave that front door. <laughs> there, okay. If you come in a paint Don't put alone, no paint. You spend this specialized bottle. I even fill it back up with you with the uh with the sauce we done dipped in. AJ, ew. I feel it. I like. 
Nigga. <laughs> ah, ah. I did put some in a bottle though, just in case, because I'm gonna probably keep this probably, it'll probably, I know for a fact this will last in our refrigerator for probably about at least two weeks or so. Mm. My um my mom's supposed to be coming over here, I'm gonna make her eat some. <laughs> so that's why I put some I put it all in a bowl I'm except for this. Eat some. Except for this little bit right here. So y'all might be like, why you got the bottle in the bowl? Why you got the bottle in the bowl? You know, people get get beside themselves in the comments. Why like, you got the bottle in the bowl? Because I can. Uh, uh, <laughs> anyway. So yeah, um, all right, let's go. Am I gonna go one to ten? Six and a half. Well, this is my pink sauce. I agree. Way. This is what I deduce. I, I deduce. Went for the main ingredients and then I added the rest. Basically, I just wanted to make sure that it had the, uh, the, uh, the sunflower oil, which I use sunflower, but they said it's interchangeable. Um, the red pepper, the garlic, and the um, the dragon fruit because that's what it was on the main picture. So I'm guessing those are her core ingredients. When I first blended this up, it tastes like straight garlic. Like, oh! mm. <laughs> and I didn't even use that. God damn. Uh -uh. But, you know what, I'm going to give it a solid six and a half, my version. Um, I just don't know, like, am I going to be running? Let me get some pink sauce out of the refrigerator. If it tastes like this, it's good. I definitely think it's good. Yeah. I was very surprised when I dipped my burger in it. I was like, because I don't really think I could, I would want to dip my burger in ranch like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's too much. But this is actually like shocking. But what you give it? I agree with you. I'm probably more of a six. I can't eat so much of it. No. Because then right, I started tasting the, end, the parts I, started, I don't want. Yeah, yeah. I started just eating the food like it was, as y'all can see. Yeah, it's like but, a, if I was in a store and I walked up and somebody said, hey, can you try this? And I tried it. And I'd be like, mm, that's weirdly good. Like, what it tastes mm -hmm. like. But. But like you also said, like, if this is what it tastes like, I'm probably, when I'm going to the refrigerator, refrigerator, goddamn, for a condiment, that's probably not going to be my first one. No. That wouldn't be my first. Most definitely not. You know, I can't stray away from my Polynesian. Yeah, so. That's what I'm first grabbing. What do you first grab when you open? Most of the time, I go for hot sauce, honey mustard, and ranch. <laughs> Those are my top condiments. Barbecue sauce is in there somewhere. <clears throat> but usually with fries, I eat honey mustard or barbecue sauce. Um, on chicken, it's hot sauce. I got wings. I need ranch or blue cheese. But most of the time, it's going to be ranch because I don't have blue cheese on hand a lot of times. I like barbecue sauce, but it'd be one of the last ones I'd be picking up. I don't know why. Well, my fries like is it, one of those. But Ketchup is on the bottom of the yeah. list. It just depends. Sometimes like, barbecue sauce be blowing my face off. It, that's why I don't buy like certain barbecue sauces. Like, it's Sweet Baby Rays. One of them. Sweet Baby Rays, I don't buy their original. I buy. It might be that one. The Hickory Brown Sugar and I buy the Sweet and Spicy. Oh, that thing be blowing me. I said, oh. The original. I taste the ketchup in here. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is like, I'm not going to act like. I'm going to put that bottle in the refrigerator. First of all, it's loose. <laughs> and I don't know what, I think it's an interaction of things because wow. I got the creaminess. I added mayo, which most people say she used a cream base. So I added <coughs> mayo, but it's only gonna get so thick mm -hmm. unless you add it's just straight mayonnaise. And I think it's something interact. I think it's a combination. It's the emulsifying of the vinegar or lemon juice and that sunflower oil. I think it's it's keeping it loose. It's mm -hmm. too that's one thing. I don't need some shit to run all over the place. Oof. But <laughs> but uh for its texture, it stays on pretty good though. Yeah. I think that's the oil and shit that, mm -hmm. that holds make it hold on. Because even for the people who um who I've seen in videos who didn't use mayonnaise, it'd be holding on. But yeah, so that's what I get. I'm, I'm when, whenever she drops the real one, I'm gonna order because I want to know. Right. She's partnering with a manufacturing company that manufactures hot sauce right now, so they're gonna probably bottle it, make sure it's got the right preservatives that work. So 
Shout out to you. Anybody that's trying to start a business, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see anybody fail. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I hate that it was off to such a bad start because even if I don't like the product, somebody else does. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do what you do. Like, I want for everybody to be successful in this lifetime because hardship is a bitch. Right. So, yeah. And I feel like it's nothing like working for <coughs> yourself. Right. You know, exactly. you know exactly what you want, what goals you want to achieve. When you work for somebody else, you trying to achieve their goals, which ain't got nothing to do with you, which means you have no motivation to do them. And I'm not so. in a race for or anybody, even if you're doing the same thing I'm doing, I'm not in a race against you to be successful first. I would rather, if you if, if you being successful means you getting there before I do, then get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would never, like, I, even if I have my opinions on the... the uh, the way this sauce was handled to begin with, but at the same time, like, I wouldn't want her, like, a business to fail over right. unless you were intentionally doing some stupid shit and you knew what would happen. And I never saw a <laughs> video where she said, oh, I'm going to send it out anyway. Right. Oh, I'm going to do this anyway. Like, you know, she, like, anybody that is, that can, you know, <clears throat> see their wrongs and be like, okay, I just didn't know. <laughs> Because I was on, I can respect that. I was on her Instagram today, just doing you know general research before I got on this video and started shooting my mouth off. And I was scrolling, scrolling, scrolling just through her posts, and then before she even released it, you know, it looks like she was just eating it for herself. Mm -hmm. And people were like, "What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it?" And she was like, "You know, what I'm saying I'm gonna put this in production for y'all so y'all can try it. What it tastes like? What it tastes like? I want y'all to try it." So it just seemed like she got hyped by the internet. She made sure she, you know, she did what she did to get the sauce bottled up and get mm -hmm. it out. And she just didn't do things the right way. But <clears throat> I'm like, <clears throat> that doesn't necessarily negate, you know what I'm saying? Like, people, I mean, y'all, I ain't going to repeat some of the stuff that I read on that page. But y'all go to her TikTok and just look at comments. You can even go on the older videos. It's terrible. Like, people are hateful as hell, but mm -hmm. I just don't get it. So, like... But anyway, uh, I hope uh, that she's able to bounce back. Yes. And like I said, even if I if if, if I order something that's terrible and I hate it, you know what I'm saying? At I, least we was able to support. <laughs> right. And I hope that you know somebody else loves it so that she mm -hmm. can continue to grow. Right. And that's anybody, any y'all who got businesses out there, whether it be a food business, whatever it is. I hope y'all I wish y'all much success. Oh, yes. Because you know what I'm saying. You got to, you, you know, I don't want that. I want to be able to be proud of something. Mm -hmm. So. And I wouldn't, I damn sure wouldn't want nobody to drag me through the mud over an honest mistake. So, anyway, that's my spiel. I love y'all. Um, you got anything else? Talk about I'm done. I'm done. All right. So, if y'all <laughs> haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, guys. Yes. Give this video a thumbs up. <coughs> Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think, guys. Remember, share this video. Share it out. Shannon, just care about us, care about us, y'all. We love each and every one of y'all. We appreciate you. We do. We do. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Uh, what you got, baby? You done? Nothing. Bye-bye, honey. Nothing that's good. Bye-bye. <laughs>